Sir, my approach is like leave no stone unturned. That's that's the name of my approach, right? Understand what he's expecting from you. What's the pain point? Yeah. Who is, in my current organization, Park Plus, we always crave, we always do one thing. It's in the middle of it. Management role is a very hard working role because if you are not working hard, you won't be able to deliver any single product, right? right. Your engineers will never take you seriously because they feel he. इसका तो कोई काम ही नहीं है ही इज नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क आई हैव टू वर्क हाय एवरीवन एंड अगेन वेलकम बैक टू दिस न्यू सेशन ऑफ द सीरीज वेयर वी कैच अप विद द एलुमनाइज एट हेलो पीएम एंड दिस टाइम वी हैव अलफरान खान विद अस हे हाय अलफरान हे भविष्य हाउ आर यू ग्रेट ग्रेट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक एंड नो मोर स्टोरीज एंड साइट्स फ्रॉम अलफरान ही इज प्रेजेंटली वर्किंग विद Park Plus as product manager, he comes with amazing journey of four, uh, almost four years. Before this, he has also worked with Rally R Bus. So there will be a lot of insights to learn about how he got into product management. What is it that he does in day to day uh, life uh, as a product manager, and how he came across Hello PM and uh, what inspired him. There is a lot to know uh, and talk about uh, that we'll see throughout this video. So let's uh, directly jump on to uh, the video. So yeah, uh, Alfran, uh, a quick intro about uh, yourself. Thank you so much, Bhavesha, as you helped me, you know, summarize my introduction. This is Alfran Khan, and for larger group, uh, it's uh, been around for uh, three and a half to four years. Me into product domain. I started off my journey as a PM for a company named Upload. then uh, you know i switched to a uh, us based startup primarily i was working as a apm over there and majorly taking care of their three verticals one is their website which where i was you know managing their complete ticket booking experiences second thing is uh, you know their complete end to end help and support system and third thing is i have launched i have helped them to launch a new business charter that goes by the name of bus uh, bus charter and currently it's been around one year Give or take one year, I've been with Park Plus. It's a Series C company, uh, headquartered in Gurgaon only. And with them, I was taking care of couple of products. Just to name a few, it's parking, valet parking, and there is uh, there is Chalan. So these are the three products what I am taking care of as of now with respect to Park Plus. So that's a quick introduction about me. Moving forward, uh, if you can uh, quickly give us an idea for our our viewers. Uh, what is a regular day uh, of a pm at park plus look like or uh, precisely what is your day at park plus on a day to day basis looks like when it comes down to day to day basis you know it's it's more about a fire fighting game right it's me being a pm keep up uh, being on my toes trying to understand the problem statement what my current users are facing and there are multiple avenues to understand that particular problem statement right just to name a few you have to observe your complete product funnel end to end to understand what is happening and what's not happening with the users and there is another challenge which goes by the name of user interviews you need to keep in touch with your users right i mean there are multiple segment to it right users who are converting with your product users who are falling falling behind your products and there, there is another avenue which goes by the name of business so basically there are business teams who comes to you bring their problems to you and you have to solve it right and more critical to it right there would be n number of problems uh, you will be coming across but yeah. at that today the major job of the product manager is to understand this problem i have to solve and that problem i can leave right and there are multiple sub metrics behind uh, you know there are multiple sub metrics adjacent to every particular problem statement which you need to figure out so that you can take a decision okay this is a problem worth solving and that's the problem we can leave or we can tackle later on so this is the major part of my role as a pm at park plus secondly stakeholder management right since i am a pm i am at the center of multiple you know multiple domains right be it design be it business be it engineering or be it data right and i have to ensure that i am the owner of the product my work keeps going on right so i have to ensure that my the work is not on me the work is on them so that they keeps on working and if they have any doubt they can come to me so what i mean by my work is not, not on me on other stakeholder is to ensure that my prds my requirements everything is well documented and very clear to each and every stakeholder so that they are not facing any blocker and sitting right? right they know what they needs to get done and why this is being done so that's the major part of a 
you know pm role at a park plus on a day to day basis okay awesome i mean that's a very uh, precise and to the point answer that you have shared and uh, really uh, like this uh, about you so uh, moving uh, forward uh, okay so initially like it's been uh, what uh, almost 4 uh, year like 3 uh, to 4 year of a journey into the product role right in your initial days how did you uh, came around this uh, product role or pm role to be uh you know uh, to be one where you want to get into or you want to develop skills around this role how did you came across this uh, i would give you a very short answer right most of my uh, most of my friends are getting into a domain known as product management right and few of them are getting into software development roles so i have understood like most of the most of the kids of my age at that point of time understood what software engineering is right but very few of them understand what product management is all about right i came from a business family when i speak with my friends and understand what they do right and what's the kind of impact they are creating into a company with their products i have feel like hey this is a job of a businessman right need to think uh, need to think around solving the problem statement then break, building up the solution and shipping it right this is very cool that's that's the raw thought of a kid uh, back four five years back right okay so then i decided hey i'm not a tech tech guy right i i i don't understand what api is all about how things works how back end works how front end works what back is end. client right because when it comes down to client i understand there is another guy who is sitting on the other side of the table and i am referring him as a client yeah. so the major struggle or the major hard work i need i am still doing is related to tech right tech is something which as a product manager which you, you need to understand to get into this role right and when i say you need to understand it's not about you have to be a developer you just need to understand what your developer is telling you right so that you can understand his points and give a proper solutions to them for an example if a developer is saying if you raise if if anybody raise a bug for an example right and right. developer mentioned that hey this bug is on the client side you need to understand what he is mentioning he is he is simply mentioning that this bug is on the front end right please tag the relevant stakeholder to get this bug solved so that's kind of you know that kind of tech understanding is minimum when it comes down to being as a product management but right. further on this product role is very deep right uh, and there are multiple sub branches of being a product management right product manager sorry my bad there is like technical product manager there is data product manager there is design product manager there is business product manager so by understanding this different this sub branches you can definitely pick two or three where you want to master right so suppose that let's say there is a guy x right who is coming from a technical background he definitely he should pick uh, pick tech as their sub branch of product management that hey i need to kill this right right or there is another guy someone like me who understand data data ठीक है data is something which flows like this and this is my user and that's how these are the funnels i need to take care of so data goes well with me design goes well with me but tech doesn't goes well with me right so right. i always keep pushing myself to learn more and more tech not to up, just to upgrade myself but to become a better you know people's person so that i can understand the pain point of the people i am working with because as you grow up in the ladder right the major role is stakeholder management you need to set up, you need to live up to the expectation of your stakeholder with whom you are working with right and the and you know the age is growing the ai is coming the more tech is getting into the system right you need to understand what is happening and how your stakeholder or how your colleagues are going to solve the problem statement which you are bringing to them right so that's what it is that's what you know give me a confidence and gives me a very clear thought process hey this is the product management this is i want to do and this is the path i have to follow or i have to go through to become a pm okay so uh, moving uh, forward like um, since um, you you ini- already initiated your journey with the product like how did you landed up at hello pm and how you arrived basically at hello pm so i mean i have to extend my second answer right it's friend okay. sure so i do have a friend who was a senior pm at upgrade right okay he moved out of country to get a better you know better role better life better career so i was discussing with them and i was having an idea ki you know i wanted to be i i want to upgrade myself i want to be the better version of myself and i have to learn mm-hmm. and there is so much content available across the internet to learn yeah. but i need a structured approach right what should i do what should i do so i keep on looking things on you know google he is also helping me out by looking out few things on google 
but uh, you know i i came across hello pm uh, through youtube channel there was a video of ankit right where he was describing that tech is uh, uh, the tech requirement for a pm right mm. i have gone through that particular video i have understood that this man has very good clarity right and i and i want to be like him right mm. i wanted to have this sort of clarity to to level up my game then i spoke with my friends and i said hey there are multiple people right in the market yeah there are, let's say there are let me put it straight there are multiple vendors who are selling this course particularly right which one to choose and when it comes down to me my opinion is bro ankit is very fantastic guy right when it comes down to he is articulating the things he is helping a normal guy to understand the tech uh, concepts right i think he is the good guy luckily one of my friends knows ankit indirectly so he recommended that that the same guy who was working there at upgrad he recommended that you can go for it he will help you out right so then i set up a call with ankit it's a phone call right i have you know i i've been honest with him i told my journey i told the problem what i am facing currently at that point of time in my role right and i clearly states him that i'm going to join your course to become the best version of myself or the upgraded version of myself so that i can unlock the next level in my career mm-hmm. and he helped me out even it's been around 1 year right i completed my course at hello pm and i still watches the videos or the relevant articles which hello pm publish on their student portal that's the fact right because yeah. i was going through a problem statement of apis and all and understanding right there are i am going to build a new product for my company in that particular product there is a complete third party api integration right mm-hmm. and i have to build a journey and there are multiple vendors who is going to provide their different different apis right mm-hmm. and it, i and i need and i need to solve the complete flow end to end for mm-hmm. that i need to understand you know the api the all dig the, all the link and once yeah. everything right payload response what is going into this payload what is going into that payload i need to create that mapping and all right yeah so what i did i logged into hello pm portal and started reading about it though i dial my few of my engineering manager friends right one of them like laughingly said to me bro there is everything present on hello pm portal why you are not learning so i said mm-hmm. how do you know kare bro i know because you are behind me i want to save my ass you have to go through that <laughs> right <laughs> then i am so that's the point right that's the beauty right. of this particular thing i am still learning right and uh, and i am very happy that <clears throat> i joined this uh, you know this course which helped me to you know to jump from x to y and now i'm going to you know now i'm going to travel my another journey of y to z right so i'm pretty happy with it and that's how i came to know about hello pm or other words say ankit and that's how i am you know reaping the fruits of my enrollment till late okay that's that's really awesome and uh, quite a uh, quite an amazing story um so uh, moving uh, forward uh, with the next question that we have is like you talked about how you uh, landed and then um, you know you, how you discussed with your friend but then moving forward uh, i'm pretty sure you you must have done the research as you said there there are multiple people you know uh, sharing different similar sort of insights around product role so what is it that uh, made you uh, decide or what is it that help you to take a final decision of selecting hello pm uh, moving forward um, within your journey the final decision is very simple right i have a gut feeling then i got a recommendation that's all but okay. when it comes down to reviews and other thing i think every everything can be make up there is something because i have a first hand uh, you know that's the point i got a demo through a youtube video that's the api for product management or tech for product management <laughs> right okay, yeah so i got a demo right i have i had a word with ankit mm-hmm. i got a recommendation from my very trustworthy friend there is no second opinion for me that's how i enroll into this now while you were the uh, while you were at hello pm what is that uh, one thing that you liked most so i would like to divide this answer into three segments right okay. one is going to be my complete live learning experience where okay. ankit and other mentors are coming and you know helping us understand things right i yeah. still remember few names right where uh, you know navedya is coming and helping me understand the tech deeply where gagan mahajan from misho right yeah. is coming and helping me understand the data deeply 
and ankit who is getting into the picture to help me understand you know the growth side of the product yeah so the live learning experience is fantastic right so basically why fantastic is basically they are relating you know the relating the knowledge transfer by the real life example what they had gone that's the most beautiful part of it second thing is the sessions are of just one and a half hours right right in one and a half hour how much you will learn right I, i'm not commenting on anyone abilities right but that's the, that's the reality right it's a limited period of time everybody needs its own pace its own time to learn about the things right then so then it comes down to you know the most important thing i fundamentally believe is the learning portal is the lms of hello pm right where whenever i want right i can go log in and refer to the you know refer to the articles refer to the blogs refer to the content which is available and by referring to that particular content i am you know i am you know refreshing my database to understand the next set of the problem or the problem which i am currently facing that's right. the second part of it right the third and most important part of it which i think everybody craves for but no one is looking forward to do the hard work is to going through the complete interview portal which hello pms provide right a very fantastic very you know tough very deep approach about how to be ready for a pm interview right basically yeah. covering every set of problem statement which might be asked by a by a interviewer in your product interview i yeah. would like to quote a very fantastic story i was going through going through that particular interview journey as well at that particular point of time right because uh and then i landed up i landed up a interview right that interviewer have asked me something which is in the third module of that interview prep course interview prep module right i and i was on just second module but the brain or the database was trained enough that i am able to tackle this particular tackle that particular problem statement and on lastly by being on a lighter side i i told him that hey i didn't prepare for this particular thing because i feel this is going to be a very tough thing for me but i am amazed that i am able to solve this particular problem statement which you just throwed at me so yeah. he was also laughing at me and you know we had a good time and it gives it and it was a really confidence booster moment yeah, yeah. for me very, very confident booster moment mm-hmm. so that's what the good thing about hello pm what is your advice for people who are considering to join hello pm program so i do have two advices right the first and the foremost advice is are you really sure that you want to be a product manager you understand what product manager is all about right a person or a student should clearly understand what product management is all about because at the end of today i have came across a few people who are getting you know getting excited about the outer shine of this particular role right are wow he is a product manager he is doing absolutely nothing and he is earning good so let's get into this product management role right. and much and to un- to get into this role let me get a certification right and to get that certificate certification i'm finding i'm looking for multiple vendors ha uh-huh, so right that's, yeah. a, that's the core motivation of few people yeah so yeah need to understand is that product management is for you if you have that particular convincing answer to yourself then you can start looking out for multiple you know multiple companies multiple vendors right hmm. but when it comes down to pro- hello pm specifically what you need to understand really is that this is a self taught course that ankit and the other folks are going to help you understand the deep concepts right in you know as raw as possible but at the end of the day you have to go to your home you have to do a lot of homework to get the mo- get the most out of this course just by attending those you know those online sessions or those mentor session will not going to help you out you need right. to do your homework you need to understand everything you need to complete every assignment to understand and to get that particular confidence that hey i'm going to nail the show mm-hmm. with respect to a product management role right. that's the that's the that's the you know that's the opinion or that's the suggestion i can give to the uh, to the students aspiring to be a product manager or uh, for the product manager who are going to enroll and willing to take their game to next level moving forward uh, now we'll be talking more about you know um, you know your uh, process of uh, navigating through this whole journey of getting uh, the product role right initially uh, just to have an understanding initially what was your approach of hunting down or targeting the companies and getting the job interviews <laughs> my approach is like leave no stone unturned 
that's that's the name of my approach right so you need to find a company that this is the company and this company is hiring for a pm role ensure that your profile is 100% complete and updated that's the first and foremost thing then you need to start filtering out for the companies or the job roles right so you started you start off by filtering let's say 10 company 10 10 okay. jobs then you need to figure out who's the hiring manager of that particular role on linkedin or rather i would say on i am jobs it is very easy because uh, those platform clearly shows who's the hiring manager or who's the relevant contact for this particular role right. read them out over email read them out over linkedin, LinkedIn. read them out like every possible manner right just right, just right. Write to them right and while writing to them there is the game to understand what they are looking forward to do so yeah with your candidate right they have given you a clear jd always modify your resume and your cover letter right as per the job description of that particular you know of that particular hr of that or that particular you um, know yeah, yeah so it's it's and if you are able to do so i just wanted to give you a very quick you know quick understanding that you are already a pm because you understand the problem statement of the hiring manager you understand the problem right. statement of the recruiter and you are building a product which is exactly needed even if feasible for you record your video profiles send it across absolutely be absolutely shameless be super hard working to get a job role hmm. and i have you know i have seen many people who have unlocked the next level is they have gone through the product like there is a company let's say x right i okay. don't want to put any company here right there is a company let's say x they themselves have experienced their product of x right and then they have written down the prd written up completed the complete wireframe that there is a problem in x and this is how you can solve it and right. they have given the relevant you know relevant supporting documents supporting argument why this problem statement necessary to consider how you can solve it post launch what you should track right if this is happening what should it can do if that is happening what you can do right so this is the fairly tough approach but this is going to help you to take in uh, this is going to help you uh help you being help you being the diamond in that particular market where there is like a lot of cvs right people, but yeah. cvs are coming with Just this kind of type of, you know, type of let's say type of you know a type of assignment which is not being asked right you are sending it across so this this shows a great trait and great personality right so everybody would love to get you on board it so yeah. that's, that's my two cents with respect to you know interview approach since uh you talked about you know reaching out to so many companies and uh the approach so what were the like most what were the most common questions that you faced uh across different companies uh, yet again and again or similar sort of uh, questions that you faced uh, across different interviews that you would like to share with our uh, members so when it comes down to similar type of a question for for a person like me who is already little bit of experience right most of the question are from my previous job or previous problem statement what i had solved okay right why i took this approach why not another approach they always test my understanding of the market understanding of my users so most of the questions are like that way but there are always some you know easy round i would say where they have asked you for some rca they have asked you for you know companies into this they wanted to get into this what would be the approach should they get into this so that normal product management template you mm -hmm. should understand right there are guesstimate questions in some companies so you need to understand this as well so it's basically depends on you know the experience of yours if you are an experienced guy, they are going to dig deep into your past experience, right? right. They really want to understand the depth of the water. But yeah. if you are not that much experienced, right? Or if you are in middle of your product management career, right? They would going to combine, you know, your prior experience, some tele template questions, right? And if you are a little bit fresher, you are, you know, you are going to join for a very entry level role, right? They are going to give you a very templatized questions where you have to think through a template and give an answer to them but that is not easy right at that particular point of time when you are sitting in an interview you you won't be having any template you need to practice it up you need to understand the concept why this is getting solved in a such a manner because right. memorizing a template will never help you hmm. it might help you in one or two instances but in longer term it won't 
So understand the concept of that template, why this template is built in such a manner. If you understand that, there is no need of template. For so uh, any, uh, just to be quick, any quick question that you remember or you want to share, this is, this is something that worked for you, the way you answered it. So I would like to give you a very, like, very good example here, right? I was sitting in an interview of a online pharmacy company. I don't want to put a name here. Okay. So in the first round of interview, I just, you know, he asked me for a quick introduction of mine. I have given that introduction. It hardly consume a minute or two, right? Once that particular thing is, once that thing is over, he put me across the most fearful question. I always, you know, always avoid. He said, you know, what do you think? Uh, should Microsoft get into this? productivity management tool product if yes then why and how if no then why right right when it comes down to productivity so i got panicked little bit right this this is a very raw i want to quote a very raw story i got a little bit panicky Are, what is this yeah i've yeah, never yeah. prepared for such questions hmm. so so i said no 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 what will happen either you cross this round or you will be out of this round nothing beyond this yeah, right, right. So, but once I calm myself down, I said, what is productivity management tool? Yaar? I have yeah. never used it. Oh, I should able to go ahead and relate it. So I said, give me a moment, right? I have asked for a time. Okay. And then I reiterate that particular same question to him, not to understand, but that particular question to, to buy myself a time. Okay. Right. He said, yeah, yeah, Alfran, you, you got it correctly. Then I started writing down what productive productivity management tool can be. Okay. Once I wrapped it down, I said, Achha. That's the thing. I mean, can we assume that, you know, the Google calendar or, you know, Calendly, these are the productivity management tool, which will help you to organize your day better. You said, yes, uh -huh. so, achha, this is simple. Then uh, okay. <laughs> this is simple. Then that's the, that's the round one of my motivation. This is simple. I can, you know, I, I have to write it down. I, I can understand the thing. Then okay. I, you know, keep asking questions to him. Achha, this is what you are expecting when you say this, right? This is what you are expecting. This is what you are expecting. So I keep asking questions. Now, afterwards, after that first question, I am not asking question to buy myself time. I'm asking question to understand what he's expecting, bro. So uh -huh. it's like you coming to my place and I'm serving you a non-veg dish. And without knowing that you are a vegetarian guy, what do you do with <laughs> right? So, yeah. So the so the concept is to under it doesn't matter whatever the question is, understand what he's expecting from you, what's the pain point. Yeah. Who is, even though I have asked him a very, very blunt question. Okay. You are asking me this question. Who are you? Are you a consultant to a Microsoft? Are you a CEO of a Microsoft? Are you a business head of a particular unit from Microsoft? Who are you? So that I can understand Achha, this would be the thought process of this particular man. And this is how he must be thinking. Right. One right. question I should ask him. So when I have asked every particular question, so he asked me to draw a wireframe. So I quickly dropped that particular wireframe, right? He was right. very happy. And when I told him, bro, I never practiced such type of question because I was always afraid because okay. the template is so long that I realized it's not about template. It's more about the concept. If you have the concept clarity with you, you can nail the show. Hmm. So that's the, that's the answer to your question. Okay. So lastly, uh, what is it that uh, you will advise for people who are preparing for the interview or who are people who are as of now preparing uh, for uh, product roles? Yeah, it doesn't matter whether you are preparing for a product role or for any other interview or for any other thing, right? The one thing which remains common is your hard work and your curiosity to solve that particular problem. So for an example, not just me, this is something which is valid for everyone, right? Everybody is going to face a, face a new problem in their day-to-day -day life. It's you who decided to get into depth of that particular problem or you, you just wanted to leave it. And when I say leave it, it's not just saying no, nahi karna. it's about ki ha, you know, you are just looking at the superficial level of that particular problem. You are just keeping it away. So never took this approach. Always dig deep into the problem. Hmm. Always solve the problem by root. So what I mean by it in my, in my current organization part plus, we always crave, we always do one thing. Iske andar ghusna hai. We need to dig deep into it. It doesn't matter whatever it is, right? We need to dig deep into it. So product management interview, right? You need to dig deep into every particular problem statement. There are, there is a fantastic book. I'm missing out the name of that particular book, right? Crack that, it book. Sorry. 
Is it cracking PM uh, career or cracking PM interview? No, no, it's not cracking PM interview. It's something else. I, I'm, I'm genuinely missing out the name of the book, right? That yeah. book helps an individual to dig deep into anything. So what I mean, or what I wanted to convey here is you got a problem statement, right? And you will definitely going to find 10 type of approaches on Google, right? right? Understand why this particular person took this approach. Why not another approach? Why that? Why that? Why this? Why this? Once you identify the 10 sets of a same problem statement, then you have clear, clear understanding of the depth of that particular problem statement. Once you understand, Achha, this simple looking problem statement has so much depth to it, then you will understand, okay, this is how I should measure the depth of my problem statement. My problem statement is to get a job in a company, right? Depth me jao, understand who you are, how much capable you are and what you need to do to sort out this particular problem statement and be absolutely shameless, be super hard working to crack that particular thing. Every product management is super, every product management role is a very hard working role because if you are not working hard, you won't be able to deliver any single product, right? right. Your engineers will never take you seriously because they feel he he is not going to work. I have to work. But yeah. you need to learn one thing from the bottom of your heart. If you won't work, none of your colleague will going to work. Right? This applies in the complete product management life cycle. And this same applies in the, you know, job hunting period. You need to understand the problem statement. Right. You need to exactly dig deep into it. Ki, you know, why it is. Yeah. Why I have to solve this particular problem and why... I should took this approach. Why not another approach? You know, Makes sense, give, yeah. let me, let me give you another quick example. So suppose that there is a guy, there is a guy named as Alfran, right? And you have asked him a question. He's given you a good answer, right? Let's say very good answer. And there is another, another guy you had asked him the same question and he has given you the two approaches to solve that particular problem statement. Who understand the problem statement better? Second guy, right? It's not about the best problem statement. It's more about the how deep you are thinking yep, yep. solutions can be provided by anyone that's the fact my dear friend but the problem is who understand the problem statement better in hindi we say taklif jisko samajh mein aati wahi dawa de pata hai right okay that's uh really insightful and well articulated uh format um i would say okay so um just to g uh, give this a uh, 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 summarized answer okay so if you were to start uh, for everyone who is watching uh, right now uh, to give them the idea, if you were to start your journey of a product manager again, what is that one thing that you would done differently uh, that you didn't took this time, but you know, going back and doing it again? Sure. One thing that I would like to do differently is to take my preparation okay. of being a product management very seriously. Because at that point of time, I was like a boy, young boy. It was like, it's right? so like that way, right? It's not about getting into a role. It's about, you know, nailing that particular show. So take things very seriously. And when I say take things very seriously, I should have gone back in time and take everything very seriously. Be it learning data, be it learning or understanding the user experience, slash design, be it understanding the tech, be it understanding the growth, be it understanding the stakeholder management. Right. I think if I had an opportunity to go back into the time, I have took, you know, took everything very seriously and I have, you know, dig and I I must have, I will have, uh, right? I dig deep into everything, right? Because that's what I learned little hard way. There is no shortcut to hard work. So, seek lenge, sab seek lenge, aur seek lenge, koi kaam nahi chalayenge. <laughs> All, it's, it's really great. Uh, like uh, I hope uh, people watching this also would have enjoyed uh, this whole session of ours. So, all right, uh, we are already uh, towards the end of the session. So, whosoever is watching this on YouTube, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, there are amazing resources uh, that we have shared on the Hello PM's uh, channel. Make sure to uh, check out those resources on our website. And also uh, make sure uh, we keep on hosting the live masterclasses. So make sure you keep tabs on uh, Hello PM LinkedIn. And 
with this note uh, thank you so much alfran for joining us on this amazing insightful session uh, where i believe a lot of people would have understood uh, amazing uh, uh, insights and ideas and story uh, from you uh, like how you uh, navigated through this whole uh, product space so thank you for joining us here today thank you so much pleasure okay. is all mine babish thank you so much okay okay all right so with this uh, thank you so much and we'll see you next time in another session with uh, our new alumni thank you so much guys